Um, it's my understanding that you were determined to get Jordan's chair this morning, Martin. Did you negotiate his position in this studio? Never no, mind, Pierce isn't getting the chair, I'm I, getting it, is what I I heard. don't know who said that to you, that's been mischievous. I'm more than happy in my usual place, uh, but uh, it does seem a bit more comfortable over here, and I can actually see what people are saying about me, so, you know, if you want to have a go, then have a go, guys. Send, the, send in your messages. Now I can see them, whereas normally I can't see anything on that side. So I do sympathise to you over there, because you haven't got the... The necessary skills over there. Screen, you're going to need. No, to, to be fair, I was I was easy. I come in. I thought I'll take whatever seat. And Martin's thinking well, I need to get in uh, the, the top seat, but I'm going to leave my seat. So he's almost covering two players. <laughs> yes, you know exactly. There that's was what a, he's a doing. Yeah. It's a zonal marking system. <laughs> it is exactly. Um, uh, uh, no, it is great to have you on board. Let me take you back. Have a look at this. For everybody watching on YouTube and Facebook, check this out. The, the date, October the 21st, 2000. Uh, the fixture, West Ham against Arsenal. Uh, the outcome, West Ham 1, Arsenal 2. And uh, this shows you Keon and Pierce in action with uh, one Patrick Vieira splitting the two of you up. So, uh, I mean, Stuart Pierce, what's your version of events there as Keon's breathing down on you? Well, I'll tell you the exact truth of what went on. <laughs> and then, then Martin will brush over it in his version of, OK, just before that, I'm. It, we had a corner, okay. At West Ham. We had a corner, and I, I must have just brushed past his kit. No more than that. <laughs> Literally, no more than that. He turned round, grabbed hold of me by the throat. My legs were off the floor. My little legs were going like that. He was throttling me at the time. Bear in mind, I'm 45, 46 years old. He's picking on the elderly. I was off the floor. In the end. Obviously, Patrick's come and, and broke things up a little bit and managed to calm him down. <laughs> Where it come from, got it. And, and he tells me outside the studio, Yes. well, the West Ham fans were giving me sticks, so I thought I'd take it out on you. <laughs> Unbelievable. That was outrageous of you, Martin. And well, that's no, just, why you've got the reputation you've got. What was your version of events? Well, no, it was just one of those, you know, like... Over the years, Stuart was always very physical, and I think it was. I never really got a chance to show a little bit back, and I think it was. He brushed into. I don't think he brushed into. I bumped into, and I thought, okay, let's just let him know that he yes. can't come into my area. If he does, he's going to feel a little bit of power, a bit of strength. Yes. And it was just. And then Stuart was like, "What? What's this, what's this all about? I haven't seen this before." Right. I must admit, I'll, I, I, I'll put I, a I, word down here, Jim. Go on. Premeditated. Add that to what he's just said. It, you know what I mean? He's been building up over the years to throttle well, me on well, that day. I do apologise to Stuart because, you know, I, in fact, I've been, apolog I've been apologising. I've been apologising to so many players Every when I finished. You go, you've got but to it was apologize. a match mode. And, and honestly, when you went to Upton Park and, you, and anyone who was back there, but honestly, the stick they gave me fired me up. We won that game, actually, that day. I was never, ever really going to lose at Upton Park. It rarely happened. Such was the venom what from the fans. It made me just play with that little right. bit of extra fire. So, Stuart, you just got caught in a storm, fellow. That's all. Well, it seemed that way, to be fair. <laughs> the biggest insult I've had is he's apologised for throttling me. I quite enjoyed it, actually. <laughs> yeah, and you were about 45. I mean, that really was outrageous. Yeah. Oh, that is a great music. It's a brilliant picture, isn't it? <laughs> Look at Keon, fit to be tied. It's it calmed bad. down after that. that Normally, was was calming Patrick down actually yeah it absolutely he knew that. he'd done wrong at that stage he was Dermot, trying look, to look distance Dermot, it look, I know. Dermot's on it yeah, you, did you, you scored in that game did you not Stuart I'm not sure I think, I think you got the West Ham I think won. I got two or three that day <laughs> 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 we lost two one <laughs> some of your teammates that day Rio Ferdinand Paolo Di Canio Canuti, Freddie Canuti. I mean, it was some team, wasn't some it? Good, yeah, some good players. We had Stimac would have been there as well, yeah. and yeah, you know, Canio Travis and Claire and Canio, one or two others. Yeah, but as you yeah. Say, training was interesting. With I'll Canio. tell you what, Mark, he was. <sighs> you would have loved training with him because I went to West Ham when I was thirty-seven, I think, and his feet were that quick. I always wanted to go on the opposing side to test yourself because you thought if I can stay hundred percent with him and work against him there's every chance come Saturday he had the, the quickest feet you've ever seen touch, incredible touch. Actually, I'll, I'll give you, I'll yeah, give you another uh, anniversary 27 years ago today Martin Nigel Spackman punched you do you remember that what is it there's What's a theme there's, there's a theme Bridge. here I do actually I do remember that He was, and it's unusual for Nigel to protect him uh, why did it I don't know uh, I felt somebody hit me and I thought I'm going to have to go down here he didn't put me to the ground. You go down, you realise someone's punched you. You know the difference, don't you, between an elbow and a fist. And, uh, yeah, he was sent off. Did you give him a little elbow before What I didn't it? enjoy, though, was Dennis Wise walking over the top of me, 
as as I was lying Unlike on the floor. Unlike <laughs> This is great, isn't it? All but anyway, these are the sort of things that uh, went on. Yeah. Dennis Switch. is buying football clubs now, of course. Yeah, then the game started. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Spackers, if you're listening, give us a call. You can give us your version of events. 03717 <laughs> Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.